Hey, this is Harley. We're going to go through programming your 4PK for a MOA setup using dual ESCs. First thing you're going to do is turn your radio on. I'm going to have you go in, go to menu T, menu type, that's what it stands for. Change this to level 3. Once it's on level 3 there, go down to execute, press and hold plus and minus at the same time, and it'll flash complete. From there, go out, go to menu screen 2, and go up to system. Select system by pressing down on the D-pad. And from here, I want you to go to display. I want you to set the display to servo view. Once you've done that, you can hit the end button. You can hit it again, and this will be your new home screen. This shows the four channels displayed as bar graphs. Channel one's the top, channel two is the second, three and four follow that. From here, we're going to have you uh, set up your program mixes. I'm going to have you go to program mix one. Here, I'm going to have you set these to negative 100. Set both. It'll, this one is on left and right right now. That will change to forward and reverse once we uh, finish setting this up. I want to have you set your master as the throttle channel. And I'm going to have you leave the slave as throttle. We're going to go ahead and turn this on to active for now. And back out of this, and we're going to go to program mix 2. Again, we're going to set these to negative 100. Here, we're going to have master set as throttle and slave set to channel 3. Uh, turn this to active as well. Offset, mix mode, and trim, we're going to leave at 0, and then we're going to leave these... Uh, we're going to actually turn mix mode to mix. Uh, trim it off. I need to set pmix1. We're going to set mix mode to, to mix as well. All right, from there, we're going to set up your buttons. We're going to go to the switch menu, and we're going to set PS1 to program mix 1, and we're going to set PS2 to program mix 2. And we're going to set both of these values on the right to alt. So that will alternate between on and off rather than a push button type situation where you have to press and hold. Now from there, what this will do is when you come onto your radio here, you can activate your front mix by pressing the PS1. It's on the front of the, on the bottom of the radio uh, at the beginning, um, and that will actually cancel out uh, your throttle response. So right now, my channels are going opposite ways. To fix that, we're going to go to reverse and we're going to reverse channel 3 um, you can reverse channel 2 if you like um, and leave channel 3 the way it is Depends. It's all that's going to do is depend on which way your bar graphs go um, you activate and deactivate uh, the front motor by pressing this button on the grip press that And that gives you front motor only. That will give you front dig by pressing the button down on the grip. Um, if you would like to swap how you get front dig, you can go back to the switch menu and flip these, program mix 2 and program mix 1. Now you will get front dig by pressing PS1 on the front of the radio or on the bottom if it's uh, still in the stock form. Press that again and you 
just have front motor giving you front dig. Pressed again, four wheel drive, both ESCs going. Press the one on the grip now. And you just have rear motor giving you rear dig only. Again, press it again, both going. Now to set up your mixing options, how to adjust the mix, we're going to go to the dial menu and I'm going to set up DT1 which sits right here. I'm going to set that to control my mixing. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to actually turn these DLs which stand for dial. Dial 1, dial 2, and dial 3. Dial 1 and 2 are down here by your trigger finger. Dial 3 is right here up on top. I don't use these for anything uh, personally. You can set it up to do your mixing if you'd like. It will be the same process as we're about to do. It's just on these three options. You can ch choose which one you like. So I've set those three to off. Now, so for DT1, which is the one I prefer, I'm going to set that uh, to Program Mix 2, which stands, so PM2. And you're going to set that to PM2-B. You can set the other DTs the same way. They surround the radio. Um, I personally only use DT1, so I'm going to shut the rest of them off just so that I don't have anything to bump while I'm on course. So after all these are off, we're going to come up here and we're going to set the step interval. I like to adjust my motors in a 10% increase or decrease. So I'm going to set this to 10 steps per click. So there, it's set at 10. Uh, you're going to leave the far right value at normal. So now you can exit out. Now on the right side of your screen, you'll see this negative 100 value. So as I pull the trigger, I have 100% rear motor. If I hit DT1 here on the side, if I bump it, it will go to 90%, which will give me 90% rear throttle when I'm full throttle on the front. And you can just keep adjusting that however you like, depending on the core situation. And it's proportional. So as you go, it'll climb that same value, the same percentage value with the radio. And that's how you set up the radio. I'll do a demonstration here real quick on, uh, on my Berg.